All right, guys, so here we've got loads and loads of poison hemlock, and I'm going to show you poison hemlock and Queen Anne's lace and explain the differences. Okay, so here is poison hemlock. You can see that there are these white flowers that are kind of spreading out. They're not all in one big bunch. Uh, the plant grows, you know, maybe one to three meters tall. It can get pretty tall. Um, you've got this smooth trunk or stem and these purple blotches on the stem. That's a very defining characteristic. And then if you pull it out of the ground, which you'll want to do with gloves, because um, you do not want to get this on your skin, uh, there will be a white tap root that goes down probably a few inches. So that is what poison hemlock looks like. It smells like and kind of looks like a kind of wild carrot, but it is extremely poisonous and you do not want to touch, taste, or burn any of this. Now let's go over here and find some Queen Anne's lace. All right, guys, here's some Queen Anne's lace. You can see all the flowers are kind of mostly in just these bunches. You know, there's a bunch right here. There's a bunch right there. They're not as spread out. And if we look at the stem of the plant, you know, you don't really see any of those purple blotches. It looks like it's mostly a, you know, just straight green stem. And it has all these little hairs on it. These little like thorny hairs all over the stem. I've heard that Queen Anne's lace or wild carrot, you know, it has a root that you can pull up and if it's young enough, you can actually eat the root. But if you are not absolutely certain whether or not your plant is poison hemlock or Queen Anne's lace, just I would not even touch it. I wouldn't eat anything of it because poison hemlock is incredibly dangerous. I've read online that if you eat just one leaf, it could kill you. Anyways, I wish you all the best of luck dealing with your poison hemlock.